We had a really great week. Um, I was impressed by a lot of wines that came through. Really the other white varieties and the other red varieties. Every year I get more and more impressed at how our country, Australia, as a wine producing nation, is really focusing on some other varieties that aren't traditional. Even though the traditional varieties got up, we're really doing some fun things across the country and the results show that. Well, first of all, wine shows are an amazing way to promote the best wines of the country. Um, there were so many wines entered and it's a really rigorous judging system. And what we do is we just whittle it down to the best of the best. And that's based on a whole bunch of factors. Uh, obviously, structural, winemaking, farming, all of those have to present really well in the wine. But ultimately, we're looking for balance. We're looking for deliciousness. We're looking for wines that you want to drink at dinner. You want to take to someone else's house. You want to have a really great example of a Shiraz or a Semillon or a Arnais or a Vermentino or Tempranillo. And the results are um, a group of wines that you can really, really trust. They're delicious. They're proven. They're great. Uh, representatives of their region, of their grape, and, and that's a beautiful thing for consumers to have a final results list like this that is, you know, they're so meaningful, they're so delicious, they represent great value as well.